hey loves thanks for watching and welcome back i hope everyone is doing well today so getting into the video this is a glitter that i mixed up i actually got the glitter from aliexpress and i'm just going to add just a little bit at the cuticle area and when you mix your glitter you want to make sure you put plenty of clear acrylic so you're able to move the glitter around once you've set it down and now i'm just going to blend it down so Kairos Nail Supplies is having the hugest sell of the year. If you guys haven't checked out their products, you are seriously missing out. I have it linked in my description for you guys, along with a coupon code. You can save an extra 15% off your order, but you cannot use it if you buy the whole collection and you get the discount with the collection. I think you can only use it if you buy stuff individually. So you definitely want to go check them out. I have the whole Bear Me collection coming tomorrow and I am super excited. And I completely forgot to mention that I am using Betty Cora's 3XL square tips. And I'm just going to do the same thing on this finger. Again, you just want a tiny amount and you just want to kind of blend it down once you've got it moved where you want it. And at the end of this brush, it really is shaped perfectly for the cuticle area, whether it's big or small nail beds. Now I'm going to take this white from Kairos Nail Supplies and I'm just going to start making a Frenchie. Now where I've kept the brush's original shape, I just have to work a little bit harder at the shape. So I just make sure I drain the bead so it doesn't run everywhere and I want to start pushing it towards the tip and then you want to blend it towards the cuticle and still be able to push in your sides. And now I'm just going to do the same thing on this finger. You want to drain the bead and when you set it down, you kind of want to drag it out just a little bit and still being able to blend it in towards the cuticle area and then tucking in your sides. And now I'm taking the milk bath and it is also from Kairos Nail Supplies. And I'm just going to ombre it down through the glitter and then into the tip. And again, I'm just taking the smallest amount of the milk bath. You don't want to overdo it because then you won't see the glitter like you want. And I'm just going to do the same thing on this finger.
now I'm taking Savvy Land's base coat and I'm just placing it where the Frenchie is just to kind of give me a sticky base to be able to place my flowers and to be able to move them where I want them. Every time I use acrylic, it ends up drying before I get the flowers in there or I'll put it somewhere and not be able to move it. So this way you can give yourself a little bit more time to figure out how you want it. So before you cure it, you just kind of place the flowers down to see about where you want them. And when you get it where you want it, you can just flash cure it really quick and it'll stay. And once you get the two main flowers where you want them, then I'm just going to start randomly placing these little flowers everywhere. And now I'm taking Madame Glam's OMG Pink Neon in a liner brush that I got from Sheen. And where I'm doing the bottom of it milk bath, I just wanted the Frenchie to stand out more. So I'm just lining the sides of the Frenchie.
Now I'm taking Milk Bath from Kairos Nail Supplies and you want to take just the smallest amount and brush it over the flowers because if you put too much you won't be able to see the flowers as well. So you want to use really wet beads and you just want to glide it over the flowers. And this Milk Bath color is perfect. There's just enough white and clear in it and you can see the flowers beautifully. So if you are looking for a good Milk Bath color, this one's it. And don't forget to use my coupon code. It is also in the description for you guys and you'll save an extra 15% off your order. And I'm just doing the same thing with this nail. You want to make sure you're using wetter beads and just gliding it over the flowers. And when you're using a bigger brush, you want to set the bead at the bottom of the smile line and then use your brush to push it up in the smile line, if that makes sense. Now I'm taking that white from Kairos Nail Supplies. Now I'm just taking the white and I'm gonna go down half of the nail.
And now I'm taking this glitter mix that I made. I took like four or five different pink glitters and then I had mixed flowers and butterflies in it and there was gold and pink ones. And I'm just using that for half of this nail. Now I'm taking the white from Cairo's Nail Supplies and I'm just gonna cover the pinky finger. And with this bead right here, you can see how buttery and easy to work with even the white is. I was actually able to drag it all the way pretty much well down the nail. So just in two beads, the whole pinky finger was done. Now look how perfect this brush does the cuticles. Even for the pinky finger, the smallest one, it still just gets in there and it's just an amazing brush. And now I am taking that glitter mix that I made and I'm just putting a little bit of it on the white. And now I'm gonna cap all of the nails in clear acrylic. And this video was like an hour and something long, so I did have to speed up every process in this video. So just remember to take your time.
And now I'm going to file all of the nails and I'm using my same Melody Susie M series nail drill and all of that is linked in the description for you guys along with the hand rest and the dust collector. And just a tip I wanted to tell everyone, so when you are filing on your silicone practice hand, if you pull the silicone back like you would the skin, it'll actually prevent you from ripping the silicone. And I do that when I hand file too, and it will protect your practice hand and make your cuticle thing, the cuticle areas last longer. It was just a quick tip on something that has helped me. And now I'm going to hand file all of the nails and this is an 8080 grit file that I got from AliExpress. Once you've got everything filed, it's important to wipe all of the excess dust off. And now I'm going to use Savvy Land's top coat and I'm going to top coat all of the nails.
And now I'm going to take some of this solid nail glue gel. And this stuff is amazing for bigger nail charms. And it just takes the smallest amount. And you want to place it wherever you're going to place the charm. And then you can place the charm on top of it. And it'll stay until you cure it. And this is one of my favorite products from Betty Cora. All of their products are amazing. But the solid nail glue gel is definitely one of my favorite. And I have all of that linked in the description for you guys as well. And now I'm just doing the same thing on this side. And I thought I added the butterfly on camera, so I do apologize for that. And now I'm just adding rhinestones. And after I did it this way, I wish I wouldn't have. I just think it's way too much on this one nail. So let me know what you guys think. And now I'm just adding the caviar beads in between the rhinestones. And I think that's pretty much well it for today's video. So I want to thank everybody for watching. If you haven't hit that like and subscribe yet, please do. I hope everybody has a great day. Bye.